Hello and welcome back to the channel this week. This week we're going to be talking about the XT5's new AFC subject detection system. And more specifically we're going to be doing animal and bird and uh, maybe later on I'll get to the other ones. But really I got some surprising results and I was using for the dog I was using the 50 to 140 wide open at f2.8 and I was using the 70 to 300 wide open at 5.6 and the results were pretty great. <clears throat> then we went out to the Ipswich River Wildlife Sanctuary and got some shots of the songbirds and in that instance I used the 100 to 400 and the 70 to 300 and I also put the tele extender on both of them. So we're going to get to see, see the results from that. So that being said, off we go. Okay, the first shots I've done of Leica were done with the 50 to 140. And probably the most difficult situation is uh, wide open at F2.8 and uh, in speckled light. So <clears throat> let's go through this. All right, here she is in all her glory roaming around. And I'm going to scroll through these. You can see all these are in focus, in focus, in focus. So the camera's doing really well at this point, but it's probably the easiest of this going side to side. Now the dog's starting to run away from me, and the camera did a pretty good job of holding focus um, on her body. This one is a little bit out. This one's in focus. All right, so the next shots are of her coming straight at me. Probably the hardest thing you can do to focus on. This one's in focus. This one looks like a Looks like it's in focus, maybe her nose is out. This one is out. This one looks like it's a little out. It's like, you know, the focus is focusing more on her back, which means the eye contact didn't hold. This one's in focus. This one's in focus. This one looks like it's in focus. It's in shade, her face is in shade, so it's interesting. This one looks like it's a little bit out. This one's sharp as a tack. This is the one I used for the thumbnail. And this one is also sharp here. Well, actually, this is the thumbnail shot. I, I love this shot though. What a pretty dog. All right, so here we are. I changed the parameters a little bit so that the 7300 would perform the best. Electronic shutter, 15 frames a second, wide tracking, APS-C, um, preset to number three and <laughs> it's pretty amazing we're gonna go through these shots now this uh, I, I decided you know with this lens you got to set the focal length or because you can't zoom while you're trying to focus at the same time because it doesn't work so the, these shots are all really sharp so we're gonna go through a bunch of pictures you can see this one's a little bit out well, maybe it isn't no it's sharp that's sharp. <laughs> They're all sharp. I'm gonna wait for the, the uh, computer to load up. Sharp. Sharp. <laughs> this is amazing. Sharp. Wow, look at that. Another one should. <laughs> None of these are out. So far, we got a 100% hit rate. This is like two seconds worth of shooting. And as she gets closer, it should be easier for the camera to pick it up, I guess. Look at that. They're all sharp. I'm going slow here, just so the computer has time to catch up. All sharp so far. Yep. Tack, right on the, right on the, <laughs> right on her eyes. Amazing. Still tack. Wow. Look at that. Holy mackerel, that's, inc that's crazy. Look at that. <laughs> that's the last one in the sequence. Holy mackerel. Wow, so that's a revelation. 100% hit rate with a dog running at you way faster than uh, probably a human's gonna do it. 
and it sure is beats you know somebody walking towards you but that's pretty cool i'm i'm really impressed with that that's amazing let's head out to the ipswich river wildlife sanctuary for the burke photos i think you'll enjoy this segment hello everyone welcome back to the channel this week i got a great friend of mine dave sokol how many times are you a newspaper photographer of the year? <laughs> Five times? It's, four times? Yeah, it's been a few times. <laughs> been a few times. Needless to say, he's a wonderful photographer, but I'll tell you right now, he's my bird guy. Uh, you know, Joe Brown's one of my bird guys, but this guy is really tops at it. And today we're going to be using the Fuji X-T5 right here. And we're going to be doing some bird detection. <laughs> it's got bird detection in here. And I've already tried it a little bit and it works pretty good. But uh, today we're going to try it with really small birds. And, you know, well, it's really small birds. You're not going to be following it around too much. So hopefully they're going to be sitting there letting me focus in on them and get some great shots of them feeding or whatever they're doing. But uh, I'm going to be using the 100 to 400 today, and I'm going to be also trying the 70 to 300. So what we're going to try and do is try and compare these two lenses and see how they work for this particular thing. But really what we're trying to do is we're trying to see if the X-T5 is good for this. Um, a lot of people on the channel are talking about uh, shooting birds. And, I, you know, Dave, it... it <laughs> Really what it comes down to with birds is they want birds in flight, giant yeah. ospreys and eagles and whatever you want to call it, and that's what they're looking for. So we're going to have to go up to Parker River or wherever yeah. to try and find some of that. But today it's all about small birds, and mm -hmm. people like to shoot small birds as well. And the 100 to 400 is great for that because this, uh, in full frame terms, is uh, at the 600 range. So it's pretty good for that. I mean, yeah. I have the tele extender now probably... I'll probably try it out with the 7300 and see what the heck happens, but uh, because that's a lot smaller. And I, you know, to be honest with you, I'd rather just take this thing off of here and just put the mm. <laughs> put that 7300 on here and keep the tele extender in my pocket and not carry the yeah. backpack and all the other junk with me. But yep. you know, this is a premium lens, and we're gonna see how it works. So hey, Dave, let's get started and see if we can find some great birds yeah. out there. Wow, well, I'm excited! Right now, the little birds are they're all around us. <laughs> Well, you never know what you're gonna see unless you get out there. Yeah, we're gonna go. You know, we're gonna go hike a little bit, not too far. <laughs> we have to start being really quiet because the birds know you're coming. So when we get here, we're gonna settle down and and uh, hopefully get some pictures of some birds. The 100 to 400 is it's a beautiful lens, but it's just big. It's this is a big lens, and hand holding it. Of course, you have the handhold for these small birds, is uh, is really critical. Oh look, the chickadees are coming back. The chickadees have been dive bombing us. I mean, you know, they're like right by your face, and they don't even care if you're here. And I've got some shots of them eating out of Dave's hand. Nailed it. So it's been pretty it's been pretty great. This this lens is, is nice and everything's been working well. It seems to be picking up pretty well. Um, you know it's it's just like anything else, you wonder what the hit rate's gonna be.
Okay, I'm gonna switch over to the uh, 7300. Much easier to hold. Nailed it. Nailed him right in the eye. <laughs> wow, that's cool. It just picks up the eye and just locks right on it. That's neat. Hey, somebody just gave us a great tip. Three otters playing in a pond over here. We're over there next. Boy, it's been great. We've seen uh, three otters here now. And I'll show you some of the pictures. They're not very good. You know, taken with the 100 to 400 plus the tele extender. So F8, you know, my ISO is just way up there because I got to shoot at a higher shutter speed to make sure that I don't, <laughs> they don't get away. But we're on a different part of the path here and we woke up a beaver or something and he just jumped into the water. So hopefully we'll be able to show you some great shots of uh, otters or beavers, I don't know. So far the, um, the X-T5 is keeping up, man. I got it set on animal detection right now and it seems to be picking up. Uh, whenever, whenever we see the otters, they show up and it picks them right up. So uh, we're gonna be working on more photos here. So we had a great time here at the Ipswich Wildlife Sanctuary, and Dave did a great job of <laughs> introducing me to this place, although I've been here a, a zillion times, but just up the street, you know, <laughs> just just to the, uh, the information shack, basically, I never really traveled around here much. And, you know, we, I noticed that the, um, the new X-T5 did a pretty good job of, of keeping up with the birds, and it actually picked up the otters in the middle of the pond. Um, but, you know, it's... It, it's not like that Nikon. <laughs> it's, like it's the Z9. So it's, it's the Z9. Kind of like it's, it's cheating. Yeah, it is kind of cheating. It's not the same thing. Uh, if it was the XH2S, then I'd be a little upset, but it's not. So, you know, the, the, the cool thing about this is, is that we do have an improvement in the, the autofocus of the, X, the X-T5. And uh, I didn't compare it with the X-T3 just because I didn't have enough, really enough time to do that. But the X-T5, the animal detection and the bird detection seem to work fine. Mm -hmm. um, it, it does drift a little bit every now and again and it doesn't stay locked on. I shot some video so that you could see the video. Um, so, you know, I, I'm, I'm happy with it. Um, it's not the X-H2S, but it's not meant to be. The camera's only $1,800 $1, so, or $1,699. So, um, I hope you like this episode. And by the way, I hope you like my dog, Laika, because she made a, a cameo appearance in this video because I did my animal detection with that. And she was running around like a banshee in my backyard. It was a lot of fun. So, um, that's it for this week. And we're going to be doing more with the X-T5. But if you wouldn't mind and you like this video and thank you so much for watching, please like and subscribe and give me a comment of what you think, if you already have one of these cameras, what you think of the X-T5. So remember, it's not what you photograph, it's how you photograph it. And we'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.